Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 62 of Treya 1.3. Last episode, we were over at the Queen Bee. We killed her six times. I think it was six. We ended up with a little over a platinum from that. And that's huge. That's going to be a bunch of rerolls. Uh, let's go ahead and actually summon the old pig man. Pig, whatever we're calling it. And I realized I put the bees were in there. I totally derped and forgot about that. Let's go ahead and stack the money. Oh my god, four platinum. So good. So good. I came to the house for a reason. What did I come to the house for? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I came to the house because bee witching table. Because I am a derp. And I forgot to use this during my last bee fight. So I'm going to run over here. We're going to burn through the remaining uh, bees. Uh, the bee emanations. That should be really easy. Uh, we also fought the goblin army at the last end of the last episode. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe before we do that. Didn't I have an Eater of Plankton quest? I did. Let's go do that really fast. But uh, we killed Queen Bee, and I got a little over Platinum. That was good. Uh, the Goblin Army, that was... Maybe we, I don't know if I got a Platinum from the Queen Bee, because I know we made some money from the Goblin Army. But I made a little bit of money last episode, and that's going to be huge for the rerolls we're going to be doing here shortly. I still want to get that Bee Pet, the one that lets me fly. I think that's going to be very useful in the long run. Grand scheme of things... And I also want to check something here on the map. I didn't drop something, did I? No, I thought I pressed T for some reason. There's still corruption over here. And I'm a total derp. I mean, we all knew that. But I did not go to that corruption and break the shadow orbs that are down there. That's a few free spawns of the Eater of Worlds that I can kill like instantly. I could do that. Maybe get lucky and get the Eater pet. But I would also like to get the little shadow orb. I talked about it before. I think that'll follow me. Maybe we'll do that. I guess I could have also just gone to the left and uh, went to that biome to go fishing, but I don't know, I just kind of come over here every time. Let's just let's just pound this quest out real fast, get that fish, turn it in before the next day, and I think we'll head over to the corruption and also the queen bee. I got a little little bit of everything I need to do in this episode. The dungeon, I I'm considering doing the dungeon sooner rather than later. I mean, I might put it off to the end of the house uh, till till bef I might do it before I build my house. And I know I want the storage, and I know I keep talking about it, but I would like to get the tally counter. That's going to compact a lot of these accessories. I won't need, like, 12 from my inventory anymore. That's going to be incredibly useful. Uh, there's, And, I mean, I, I do I do want to go to the dungeon. Like, I genuinely want to go do it, but there's just been so much I've been doing here in the meantime. You know what I'm going to do here? May or may not be a good idea. I'm going to let this water into this pond over here, because I have a feeling somebody mentioned it that... My fishing power was going down because the water over here, there's not enough of it. And that was causing issues. And that makes sense. I didn't even think about that. That thought totally just, just nope, just escaped me. Let's see, let's watch the fishing power. Oh, oh I guess I gotta do this. I, I, I know I don't have my, uh, my fishing gear equipped, but I'm just, I'm just watching it over here. It's not like not being stupid and going up and down left and right it's staying steady which is good okay so i think that may have fixed it could have also had something to do with the phases and all that but, but i mean I, I bet at any money it was the size of the lake because this, this isn't that big of a pool of water but let me get that eater plankton quest I broke my line go imp save me i have gotten three purple club f that's a lot of money they're not even a material Stop, stop giving me this useless item. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. I'm trying to think of ways I can speed up the Queen Bee fight as well. Uh, I mean, the pets are going to help. Uh, single target damage. But beyond expanding the arena, which would be a good idea just so she can't go off screen and I can always hit her. Maybe I should go bring some bombs over there. I got the gel. I need to use my gel. We're over 999. We had to bank some of it last episode. <laughs> bank it, deposit in the chest, what have you. Come on, give me my Eater Plankton. I swear to God, every time I have this quest, this one in particular takes forever. Give me that Eater Plankton. God, I need to go kill these. Why am I getting so many purple clubber fishes? They can't be this common. Yes, Armored Cave Fishes. I'll take those. Those are going to be useful. Bomb Fish. I'll, I'll take those. Those are going to be useful. I, I have to kill these dudes. This is too tempting. This happens every time I fish here. They get stuck in that same spot. I, I, I so want to summon my imps over there and let them kill them. There's Eater Plankton. But the problem with that is then the loot would fall to the ground and I wouldn't be there to get it. So, you guys come up here. 
It sounds like it is totes and goats raining upstairs, which means it's time to go up there and take care of the water leaf. Alright, so you guys die. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go bank this quest. I got another eater banner. Uh, find some space for it somewhere. Okay, buddy, what do you got for me? Apprentice bait and crate potions. Crate potions are useful. Go ahead and bank a lot of that stuff. These clubber fishes, I think they're worth about a gold. One gold each. Hey, man, I will not say no to free cash. I'm going to sell these. What am I, what I'm going to do then is talk to the demolitionist, which he's right here in the middle. Hey, buddy. Go ahead and buy a stack of those. Turn that into a stack of... Uh, that's right, it's... I always forget it's wonky. doesn't go to 99. That's, that's kind of annoying. I should put these books away. Let's go get the water leaf seeds. Let's go recycle those. And then I say, let's head over to the alternate corruption, spawn the eater, and then maybe get the shadow over if we're lucky, but then go kill Queen Biatch. Now, water leaf. Water leaf first. I need to harvest you every time it rains, just because. Okay. So, 20 sim seeds out of that. Not bad considering there's 20, 20 platforms right here. Then quick stack. I'll just go ahead and eat there, get rid of the bass. She's always doing that. I don't know what her deal is. And I say that every time. So I'm going to put the boreal wood in here. I'm going to put the books in here. Again, that's just a building material that I don't need on my person. Now, let's go ahead and refresh any and all buffs that we need. Let's teleport there. And let's skedaddle. Let's go skedaddle right on over here to the corruption. And this is unexplored corruption. This is corruption I have not been to. I, I have been over, but I have not been down in. Let's go take a gander. And I hope there's at least three orbs. There, there should be. That's a <laughs> there's a very high chance that there's at least three. But the more the merrier. If I could get two spawns in, that'd be pretty cool. Because these are the last orbs in my world. That I'm aware of, anyway. What's over here? There's, just, there's like always two corruption biomes. At least in my experience, there's, al there's almost always one on the left and one on the right. And then beyond that, obviously, you don't have any more. I don't know if that holds true with Crimson as much. Crimson... Uh, has anybody ever noticed this? When you have a crimson biome in your world, rather than corruption, they almost always, almost, seem to be in a snowy biome. Like, they're, they're combined in a snowy biome for some reason. And it's like, I, I don't know, it just seems like it'd be like a really strange clash that almost always happens when I play. I think even in the, the world that I just generated for the pyramids, that crimson world, I believe that was also in the snowy biome. I don't know why that is. It, it just almost always seems to be true. Almost. I, I think I might have had it like once or twice where it wasn't. But it's eerily likely. Uh, I will kill you, maybe. I hit him. Uh, I don't know which one is the right one. This is obviously not the right one. The vile mushrooms are looking pretty tempting too. I really need to pick these up where and when I can. Okay, I think we guessed fairly right. There's something below me. Uh, that's jungle below me, it looks like. Uh, I actually haven't explored this on the surface because we flew over it. So I guess I'll head over there too. But let's go ahead and at least break this. Eater of Worlds, we're just going to fight him down here. I mean, I'm just going to water bolt him. Bilethorn, I'm just going to delete. It's really not worth that much money. And I don't feel like having it in my inventory. I will take a lens, you bet. Now, is there anything down here that I could see? There looks like there's some orbs over here. This this one up here appears to be the right entrance. Weird. Let's go over there. Give me that vile mushroom. Skip you. You guys can get water bolted. Okay, there's at least two orbs here. That is good. Now, that orb over there is going to summon the eater. We do have to be careful because the headpiece still hits you for like 100. It does a lot more than the rest of the segments. The rest of the segments do, like, absolutely nothing. I'll break that. Hey, we finally got the star power band. That's, I think that's my first one. That is used in mana cuffs. Ooh, a meteorite. Just all the awesomes happening this episode. Which is cool because I'm going to need that meteorite uh, for my walls. Potentially. For the, uh, the elevator. So that is more than likely due to the fact that we broke another shadow orb. I can never remember the exact mechanic. I, I know when you break a shadow orb, 
from that point on, your world has a chance of spawning meteorites, like, naturally. And I think when you break one, just from breaking it, you have a percentage chance as well. So it's probably because we just broke that. Now, I could blow everything up here, but I'm going to just dig my way over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this hallway to my advantage for this eater fight. I'm going to send water bolts down it, and uh, the theory is the eater rolls is going to have a very bad day. That's the theory. We'll see how it plans out or pans out. There's a lot of demon altars here as well, which is important to remember for hard mode. Do not forget. Now, let's go ahead and put some torches down so we all can see. And what I will do might be a little silly, but I'm going to block this off. And I'm going to make it perfectly even. I actually don't want any gaps in the floor. And what I'll do is I'll have a flat wall behind this thing as well. And flatten this out. Go ahead and dig, dig that. So what's going to happen is water bolts just going to fly down this hallway. <laughs> it's going to be devastating to the eater. And I mean, maybe even opening this up. That might be wise. Why don't we just do it over to the to this spot? Because I don't feel like digging through Epstone too much. And I will take the remaining mud blocks. Uh, that torch is sort of in the way. Okay, die, torch, die. And we replace you. Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> this, is, this is a lesson for me. Don't leave bombs on your hotbar. I do that all the time, and it always ends badly. <laughs> Whoops. I'm okay. It's not TNT. I won't die. So we're fine. Now, water bolt. And I'm going to use the grappling hook so he doesn't knock me around, because that'll be really annoying. I'll wait till my HP gets up there. These guys are kind of stuck. Just make sure these dudes are both active. They should be. Got five minutes left on this. Uh, still not max HP, surprisingly. I have the regen band on. I wonder what's taking so long. And I should have a lot of mana here because of the the segments are going to die. And the, these imps are going to help. But let's just summon them. Vile Thorn. I still didn't... Another meteorite. That could be good and bad. That could cause problems. <laughs> we could be ruining our world. So we're just going to do this. Heal if need be. But you, you, you can see... <laughs> we should be doing okay. I need him to run at me like that. There we go. He was coming at me vertically, which is actually to his advantage, but it worked out. No problem there. But about the meteorites, if I keep spawning, I'm just going to keep ruining my world. Please don't. Please do not have hit my house. Could you imagine if it knocked out the penis tree? No. Now I don't even want to think about it. It could be broken because it doesn't update till you go back over there. Oh, God. Don't know. Just know. So we broke... That sucks. I broke two, or I broke three additional shadow orbs. And I've still not gotten a single shadow orb item. Uh, I, no, I mean I don't see it in my inventory. It's it's definitely not there. Hey, nice placement. Also dangerous placement due to the fact that I can't touch this yet. I don't have my obsidian skull. I'm gonna break it uh, with, with bombs. Hey, I just noticed. Oh, oh I. Why are they spawning? It's not playing the meteorite biome music. Eh, weird. Biome conflicts. But I'm just going to go ahead and blow it up with bombs. It'll save me a whole heck of a lot of time. I know these were meant for the queen bee, but I've got plenty. i got bombs to spare. <laughs> oh, bee's knees is just wrecking face. Okay, so I'm going to take a lot of damage here. That's to be expected. Imps are going to just do work. Imps, don't forget your fire debuff does not work on these dudes. Okay. Yeah, they don't they don't burn these dudes. They're already kind of on fire. Poke you, poke you. Makes you wonder that when you're wearing meteor armor, why you don't have a fire resistance. I mean, doesn't that sound painful to wear an armor out of meteorite if a meteorite burns you? Terraria. Stop it. I gotta be careful. I'm taking quite a bit of damage from touching these blocks. It's apparently still enough meteorite to be spawning these dudes. There's still 50. How many do we have? 300 sub. Awesome. Okay, we got we got to be getting close. Corruption biome has got to take over here shortly. Uh, now there's still more spawning. I think once I take out this chunk, it's gonna make a difference. 
Any eaters gonna start spawning? No? Nah. Eaters? Hmm? Just get that meteorite. I can leave what's left here. I'm not gonna worry about every little piece. No, there's still meteorite spawning. Well, let's just take it and leave. No, I need to respawn. I don't know. It's kind of in between biomes at the moment. I will delete that. I will delete that. I will delete this. Delete the mud. They ought to be good. So let's go attempt to get a few Queen Bee kills in, but it's pretty important that we took care of this. There's probably still some Shadow Orbs over to the left. That's very possible. But I do want to go get a few Queen, queen Bee kills in while I have... I guess I was going to say while well, I have my buff, but uh, don't really have much left on it. It's interesting that both the meteorites have landed, well, two of the three now, have landed on this side of the map. Very close to each other, my dad. Alright, Queen Bee. Uh, you need to die. The amount of regen I have right now is depressing. I, don't know, I, feel, like, I feel like my health is taking quite a bit to regen. Quite a bit more than usual. Once we go in the honey, though, it's that's going to change completely. I didn't even have these guys out when I was fighting Queen Bee last time. That's sad. I'm not gonna have two this time. They're gonna they're gonna be leaving me here shortly. But at least I'll have one. That is absolutely better than none. Not to mention, they will catch her on fire, and I will see her through the walls. And that's generally pretty useful. So let's go ahead and just dig our way back in. And I picked up a blink root. <laughs> a blink root grew on the mushroom. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the bombs to open the area up. And, file Thorn, I should just delete you. I'm going to go ahead and, again, yeah, use bombs to just open this. It's going to make it easier for me to see. Or see her and hit her. She can't hide in the walls as much. Bye-bye, platforms. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. So that turned all in the honey because of the water. Which is okay if I need to summon more queen bees. For sure. Okay, we're out of bombs in that inventory slot. Go ahead and keep going here. Two should be enough for there. And we're breaking into a cave or something. Hurry up. Break. What do we got over here? Just a man-eater. A lonely man-eater. I haven't even found the jungle temple yet, man. That's ridiculous. I have a surprising amount of the jungle explored, too. It's gotta be in the center here. Uh, let's see. How much room do we make? I need to delete you. You are you are a problem. Put some torches down so I can see during this fight. I don't think I'm going to be able to get too many kills in of her this time around, but I will at least get one kill in. That's just because we've been doing other stuff. Distractions. Terraria. Distractions. That's all it is. <laughs> Always something new pops up. Three bombs. All of them blew up in okay positions. That was a bad toss. I guess it wasn't that bad. That needed a break. Okay, so that that might help. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. But it should help, at least. Just the less time she spends inside of the walls and then I can't hit her, the better. Because that gets really annoying. Let's get rid of some of the honey here because I want the water to drain out and I want to be able to take a dip in the honey for HP. That should be just about all the water. That is indeed all the water. I'd like to keep this even, so let's just keep digging across. You almost done there, water? Water appears to have lost the battle. Water has lost the fight. Okay, so we've got a bunch of honey. Useful. Delete the useless items. Delete. And, uh... I guess I could put some more platforms down. Yeah. Yep, I guess I, I would like to expand the arena. Plus, hey, the bigger the arena is, the more room Waterbolt has to move around. There are plus sides to everything. I could just make it an actual arena one day, and then use Queen Bee as a, a money farm. But I don't know how well she'd hold up late game. Like, I don't know if she would actually be worth farming. She'd be super easy to kill late game, because she'd have no health. Don't know. But, let's go ahead and use this buff, because why the hell not? And summon an abomination, or utilize an abomination, and spam dat water bolt. Spam dat water bolt, and okay. See how she's still visible. Normally, when she does that dash, she's usually off screen, but that time she was definitely visible, and I could hit her. I like that. That's just more time I can damage her. Hey, look at that—a big ass lightning bolt out back, and before my power shuts off. <laughs> it's always starving when I'm recording. 
good stuff. You need to die, madam. No, it's like you it's like you go to the B phase and then you stop. Just, just stay in this phase. This makes it easy for me. Hello. Dat Thunder. My room is shaking. <laughs> That's a super intense boss fight. Okay, up, oh, yep, nope. Stay in that phase, stay in that phase. Why are you not staying in that phase? Okay, I'm just gonna do this because it seems to work the best. And get some bees going here. Hey, you wanna stand right here? I'm right here, ma'am. Right here. Where the water bolt at? Could start using my bee nades if I really wanted to. Dunno, I kinda like holding off on them. I don't think they're gonna be very useful late game. Maybe I should just use them. I bet they're gonna be useful in the dungeon, considering it's a closed space. The, the B gun, uh, I used that in multiplayer in the dungeon. It's actually surprisingly useful just because it seeks everything out for you. Okay, you are so close to being dead, it hurts. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and water bolt everywhere. You're just going to kill yourself. And down you go. You, you just, you're you're going to die. You have like 30 health. Just touch another water bolt. Thank you. Okay, Queen Bee Trophy. I believe that's my first trophy from her, actually. Which is good. Let's go ahead and uh, slap these platforms down here. That is also useful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do another kill. We should have plenty of time. Just spam this. I need to take a dip in the honey. For obvious reasons. There we go. That regen. Hey, man eater, you need to get out of here, sir. Come on, give me a mana crystal thingy. Go. Mana star, whatever we're calling it. Gotta take advantage of this phase. Look how fast your health goes down. It's so useful. And she's toast. This this kill's going much quicker. But I like how she's not in the damn wall. This is the biggest change I could have made. No, no, ma'am, come over here. Yeah, just park it like over here. Park that big butt over here. <laughs> her butt's full of holes, okay? She's not very attractive. Look at her. <laughs> I'm awful. Oh. She's got like 16 holes in her bosom, or not her bosom, what am I smoking? Her butt. Her buttocks. Wrong word. Wrong part. Wrong part of the female anatomy. Derp. Oh god, she's so close to being dead. This was a really quick fight. I'm surprised things went this well. I may try another kill. I think I might do that. I'm gonna yo-yo you. I'm gonna yo-yo you. You have 300 HP. I'm yo-yoing you. While dashing into you. I will yo-yo you. I will yo-yo you, you for eternity. Just die. Just die before I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's fine. That's what happens when you when you start getting goofy during a fight. Things go wrong. But I don't want to use any of my iron skin potions. So we have a this bag. I'm not going to open that bag right now. That just seems unwise. Uh, we still have the well-fed buff. We're good on that front. Take a dip in the honey to get some regen going. I'm going to break these. These seems these seem these things seem annoyingly useless in that location. Some extra platforms that were in the water because they broke. So let's place them. That works for me. And let's do another kill. This is not a waste. This is a perfectly good thing here. The amount of money. Oh god. I can't wait to start rerolling these boots. We're gonna reroll these boots once and for all. In fact, I'm gonna use these bee nades once and for all. I hate how I can't jump up to throw things at her because she just keeps going higher. I have to I have to do this. It's so goofy. Water bolt. She's gonna dash. I need to take a dip in the honey. Mmm, honey. Come on, bees, do your thing. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. I do like eight every tick. If she would just stand still, she would be gone. I'm gonna heal early. Preemptive healing. And get some more bees down. Why not? I has full mana. Let's see, can I get her stuck in this phase? Uh, it's not looking likely. And the, the bee nades don't seem to do as much damage as I would like. Nope. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. She, she, nope, there she goes. Yeah, if you stay in this phase, you're a goner to the bees. Because they would just eat you alive. That phase is key to the fight. <laughs> I'm taking an extraordinary amount of damage. I don't, I don't like that. I need to be careful here. I take a dip in the honey. 
Oh boy. I'm very hurt. But, so is she. So, I'm about to die. Because I can't hit her. Go! 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 We got this! We got, we got this! There's bees everywhere. I gotta hit her like once more. Alright, we healed. We're good. We're fine. It was close. It's, it was close. Uh, three treasure bags? Three treasure bags. Okay. I think that is going to have to do it for this episode. Do I want to open the bags now? No, because it's going to fill up my inventory with money and a bunch of useless B items at this point. So what I think I'll do is I'll wrap it up here. I will finish off the remaining B nations, and then I'm going to make a run over to the rest of the corruption and officially explore the rest of the surface. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> There's actually way more corruption than I initially thought. So I have a whole lot more uh, potential shadow orb chances. Sweet. Sweet. That's really good news. All right, guys. Episode 62, wrapping it up here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.